Most men when they reach their autumn years are planning for retirement, sorting out their superannuation and perhaps booking themselves into an aged care facility. But not so the men behind me, some of whom are in their late 50s, who come out every Wednesday night, rain, wind or hail and train for super rules. Super rules is a bit different to senior football. You can tackle a player but not sling him to the ground, you can bump a bloke but not shirt front him, and you're encouraged to kick the traditional drop kick goal from 20 or more metres out and score 12 points instead of six. The simple fact about this football is you can be 30 or 50, it doesn't matter what level you've played at before, you know, you're still invited to come along and have a game. On the training track, do you take a lot of time stretching, being that those legs are a little bit older? Not really, no, just get out and get a kick. <laughs> You try and get that out to go as quick as you can, so you can get off and have a bit of a refreshment. And the uh, the refreshments, the social side of it, is an important part of Super Rules. Oh, for sure, because like we you know we, we talk about the old times, and and uh, it just gels everyone together, and that's what it's, you know, footy's been like for since everyone's played footy. Part and parcel of it is after after game or after training events. Who's the oldest player playing Super Rules in Tassie? Uh, for, for Tassie, it'd be Barry Edwards. He's uh, I think this year if he goes to the Gold Coast, it'd be Carnival number 18. And that's one guy that is a legend. He's uh, he just started off, and he just talks about, you know, we've got to be compassionate, we've got to do this, and then all of a sudden you get into these things like the old battles, of Waterloo, and things, and how they come from behind to get up and win. And as I say, like the the people, the supporters from the other states, they just come to the Tassie, they flock to it. I went out in the ground with Donnie, and he showed me the technique of the perfect drop kick, the angle of the ball, and making sure it hits the ground before you kick it. Although the drop kick can bag you 12 points instead of six, they aren't used too much because they do tend to spray off the side of the boot and out in the full. On the day itself, I didn't see a single drop kick. I did see guys having a red hot go and they looked as young and fit as ever before. I did notice also that Super Rules has more love in it than your average game of footy, but after four solid quarters, those old legs do start to tire. How old can someone still play Super Rules at? Oh, fair age. I've seen guys getting around in the 60s, in 60 age group, so that's, um, a uh, fair age and it's phenomenal how they can continue, I think, and still keep themselves together. I read in the rules that the umpires are only allowed to throw the ball up. Is that because the umpires are pretty old too and bouncing is hard for them? I think so. Might, Some might find it a little bit hard to bend over and get down and bounce the ball, but oh, they do a pretty good job. I mean, they, they're as fit as what the players are to a certain degree and, and they, uh, they do a good job. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think just, we try and make it a little bit easier for them too as well. Even though the super rules are modified, players still throw themselves in pretty hard. In fact, the younger players have a real red hot go. As a matter of fact, you can play Super Rules as young as 30 years old. We noticed Lindisfarne had a few young'uns in their side, probably from their senior and reserve SFL sides, and they were much too good for Hewenville on the day. Bright and young man Brad McDougall kicked goal after goal on the wing and showed he could be playing SFL footy as well. Donny Dykes threw himself around all day, tried very hard for Hobart and showed that his skills are as good as ever, but not good enough to beat New Norfolk, whose side included the legends Haremza, Cornelius, and the grandfather of New Norfolk football, Headley Thompson. Big man Bruce Coles dominated for Kingston in the final game, taking mark after mark in the forward line, and occasionally came out with some amateur theatrics to give himself a 30 metre penalty, which is unique to Super Rules. After the game, the boys had a quick shower, down the customary carton of beer in the change rooms, and then into the club rooms to catch up with their mates, chat about the day's play. We joined the boys for a few beers, had a chat to find out the inside story of Super Rules. What drives someone to keep playing Super Rules well into their 50s, for example? They're completely and absolutely mad. <laughs> uh, well, I've got, I've got to say that. I've, I've often wondered. Um, I think it's just that you, you really love the footy. And, you know, for me today, you know, I coach Claremont in the uh, Southern Football League. And um, after footy yesterday, you know, you, you go through your official business and about 8 o'clock last night I went home and just relaxed and looked forward to today getting out and letting off a bit of steam. And I think a lot of the people that I play against, um, they also are officials in football clubs and so forth and they like, like to do that as well. You know, they, they just like the um, let off a bit of steam, bit of release. And uh, just briefly about the culture of uh, Super Rules, the, uh, the rule of uh, two cartons of beer being brought into the winning team's change rooms after the game. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, what happens is the, the host club supplies two cartons of beer after the game, which goes into the winning side's club rooms. Then the losing side also come into the club rooms, club rooms with the winning side and help them drink the two cartons, which is about a can each. So. And how long does that ritual take? Oh, it usually doesn't take very long, only a few minutes to get rid of a can of beer after a game. So, yeah, it, it's sort of... Um, it's sort of uh, 
keeps up the um, you know the, the mate, mateship between the uh, between the clubs and the players. And tell us about that social side of the game, the, the the carton of beer that comes into the dressing room after the game. Do the umpires also get a carton of beer to go through? No, they don't get a carton of beer. They've got to go in with the players, which is, I don't mind, but some of the umpires do. But I go into the car, into the change room to the winning side for the carton of beer, and I grab my one or two. <laughs> That's exactly right. I was just talking to a chap over there. Uh, having a beer after the game and um, he said he, he started playing football now, uh, hasn't played since school and he's 47. You'll be playing indefinitely? Uh, no, I wouldn't be saying that at all. No, just as long as my body will keep going, I'll keep having a bit of fun. What's the thing you love most about footy? Uh, your friendship. You know, there's a lot of guys that I've played against in previous years and, and they are now playing in this competition and every week you sit, get to see them and, and also you meet new guys, a lot of new blokes from up the coast that you, you wouldn't have seen but being involved with Super Rules for the last nine years, I've met a lot of good guys. You know, it's a, ma a magnificent thing to be involved with. You know, the, the friendships you make, they're everlasting. Super friendships? Oh, certainly are. Gentlemen of Super Rules, big thank you to Taz Kino for their continued support of football culture. There's a lot of talk there, John X, about beer. What do you think is in that? Beer? Oh, I think it's a big part of, uh, of Super Rules football, mm. I think. I think it's all about uh, beer and elderly, hairy men together, sweating, spitting, Alzheimer's. It's got you excited, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, it has too. Oh, something to look forward to in about 30 years' time for me, I think. Have you ever done a dropkick? Uh, I think I have, back in my primary school days when it was popular okay. to actually drop kick the ball. Oh, yeah. Have you ever met a drop kick? Um, short of the two people on the panel <laughs> with me, David. No, not really. Well, thanks very much for that. Big That's thank right. you to Arocca Libra and the Robinsons for the music and football culture. Stoney? Just like to thank uh, Mark Sinnott and the Hugh and Super Rules and all the Super Rules guys. The, the association has been fantastic. And Dave, I'm not hairy, but I'm big, and there's hope for me yet. So uh, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe uh, maybe we'll be having a crack later in the year and uh, joining the boys in the showers and in the club rooms after the game. Ooh. After the break, football development. <laughs>